welcome everyone to Amherst County High School tonight for JV football action in the Seminole District. Tonight it's the Brookville Bees against your Amherst Lancers. Lancers are set to receive the kickoff. Kicking off for Brookville is number nine, and that's um, Stephaniah Brooks set to kick for Brookville. Kick is off. It's taken by the Lancers up around the 26-yard line. Nice return for the Lancers. That's number three, A.J. Jordan, and he carries the ball across midfield, and he'll be stopped at about the B's 48-yard line where the Lancers will take over. First and 10 from the B's 48 to start. Welcome again to Amherst County. This is Tom McBride along with Lass Hamlet here tonight. And we'll be keeping you informed on what's happening in the ball game. Lancers come out to start this one. Belcher is at quarterback. And he takes the snap. The give goes, or he actually, he keeps it. Oh, wow. In the air, completes the pass. And he goes right. right. And he goes all the way. Touchdown, Lancers. Lancer, touchdown. First play of the green. Great ball fake that time. Had everybody fooled. And Belcher pulls it down and throws a 48-yard touchdown pass to start the game for the Lancers. And, Tom, that looks like to receiver David Smith on, oh, the, okay. on the catch there. Nice catch. So, nice pass, nice catch. Great result for the Lancers. Oh. And let's see, the Lancers are going to go for two here. Belcher under center again, takes a snap. Trust. Looks like two-point conversion is good. Yes, it is. So we're just a few seconds into the ball game, and already the Lancers have a 7 8 nothing lead over the Brookville Bees. And, Tom, again, I just want to make that correction. It was Trey Wright on that uh, touchdown there. So Trey Wright. Yeah, awesome Trey catch. Wright. Trey Wright from Belcher. Uh, Tyreek Belcher on the pass, and again, just a great play. What a way to start the ball game. Lancers couldn't ask for anything better to get started here tonight. They could not, Tom. Um, coming in at 2-0, and the guys are ready to play. Yeah, they've rarely been scored on this year, Last They are really a team to deal with, and a lot of these guys are on the eighth grade team last year. They just steamrolled everybody, and and here they are back doing the same thing as JV players. So now the Lancers get ready to kick off. And doing the kicking duties for them is number 11, Liam Rhodes. Liam's brother is the kicker for varsity. So All right. he's going to be kicking for JV. Liam gets set, puts a foot into the football. Line drive kick. Hits a B at the 15, 16 yard line and he loses his footing. Goes down right there. So the B's gonna start their first drive back about the 17 yard line. Yes, the ball was down by Tyleek Aldrich for the B's. Yeah, that's one of those skips on that wet turf. It didn't bounce at all for him. Skipped right into his leg. And the B's have to fall on it there with no return. So the Bees are going to set to take their first offensive possession. Receiver to either side of the field, stocked out in the backfield behind the quarterback. A lot of movement that time ahead of the snap, but Lancers all over. It. All over the play. Yeah, they try to run left, and there was just nowhere to go. Lancers read that. In particular, there was number 11 for the Lancers. That's Liam Rhodes in to make the stop with a lot of help. So the Bees again come up to the line. Number three for the Bees, Dylan Hobbs is the quarterback. Same formation for the Bees this time. And 
a little misdirection that time by the bees, but nice gain up the middle. Picks up about three. Looked like that was number 27 carrying the football for the bees. So I believe that was 22, Tom. 22, okay. S Smiley Adson with the carry there. I'm old. I can't see as well as I used to. So. You're all good there, sir. We got you. That's why I got you here, Lance. Yes, sir. better than I can. 22. <laughs> Eight minutes to go in the quarter. B's lining up. Hobbs looks it over. Takes a snap, delayed handoff oh. in the middle, and it will go nowhere. Once again, team effort by the Lancers. Yes, it was. A team meeting there to running back. He got nowhere, led by number 31 in particular for the Lancers, and that's Luke Short in there very quickly to make the stop. Going to bring up fourth down in a about nine yards short, short nine, long eight. I tell you what, Tom, Lancers are flying to the ball tonight. Yes, they are. Looking it, good. It's a swarming defense. They are really a stingy defense. Don't give up much at all. So the bees now set to punt. And let's see. Looks like they may be short of man. They're calling. Yeah, they are. Here comes somebody off the bench. Lancer's short a man comes running in there. He turns and goes back. Snap oh. over the punter's head. And he's going to try to scoop and get out. All right, it is. He's going to make it. Major. He's not going to get there. Major. There goes Trey Wright. Again. And wow. He just demolished the kicker that time for the bees. Knocked him out of bounds. Didn't let him get out of the end zone. And that's their quarterback as well. Uh, Dylan Hobbs, and he tried to scoop it and get it out of there, but he, he could just not. could not do it. Trey right there and to take him out. And, folks, that is a safety with, yeah. that, with that tackle. So we are now at 10-0 Lancers. Yep, Lancers leading it early here. 6.55 to go first quarter. Lancers already up 10-0, getting ready to receive the free kick from the Bees after the safety. Trey Wright, how about that? He was all over it, but high snap, and that, that put him in trouble to begin with. But it's really bad when you're deep, and that, that snap goes in the end zone like it did there. So they'll be kicking from their own 20, and they had the choice of whether to punt or kick off, and let's see what they're going to do. It's like they're going to bring the tee out and kick it off from the 20-yard line. So the Lancers should get great field position here. Let's see, back deep for the Lancers is number 43. Ah. And that's Jaden McQueen. Yep, and for you folks at home, as you probably can't see this, but the rain is coming down, and I'm pretty sure that's why they put it on that tee there. Short kick, it's taken for the Lancers by number three. J.J. Morris, and he carries a great return, takes it all the way back to the 20-yard line of the Bees. So the Lancers, again, starting in Bees' territory for this draw. Great return on the kick. He took it just inside the 50 and took it all the way back to the Bees' 20-yard line where the Lancers set up. First down and 10 from the Bees' 20. Lancers already threatening to put more points on the board, Lass. They are, Tom. Let's see what they can do on this drive here. This time, a change of quarterback. They got in uh, Jay on Hurt. He takes the snap and hands it to Stewart. Stewart goes to his right, knocked out of bounds over there. Jamarius Stewart knocked out of bounds, but not before he reaches the 11 or 12-yard line. So a nice nine-yard gain gets the Lancers down to about the – going to be spotted right at the 12. So eight-yard pickup for the Lancers, second down and two from the B's 12. Looks like they're sticking with Jay-Z on Hurt, Tom. Let's yep. see what goes on. Hurt takes a snap, goes the other way. 
Oh, Red yeah. touchdown, touchdown Lancers. Again. And I believe that's going to be number eight for the Lancers, Blake Wicker. And yes, Blake Wicker carries it in for a Lancer touchdown. And so 16 nothing Lancers, 6.15 to go, first quarter. Lancers look like they're going to line up to go for two again. Hurt still in the huddle. And he is going to stay in at quarterback. Takes a snap, and Jamari Stewart gets it. He's going to run to his left, and he's easily going to take it in. Touchdown. Two point conversion. Touchdown, Lancers. 18 nice hand -off. nothing Lancers after two touchdowns, two two point conversions, and a safety. 18 nothing with 16 or 6 minutes 15 seconds to go first quarter and they're going to come back up the field to kick to the bees. To tell you what Tom that left side of the line there's some solidifying ground and yeah. they, they are definitely taking it to them. Yeah, they they are opening up some holes and the backs are doing a good job carrying the football. And of course, when, when you're starting in plus territory, it makes it pretty easy as well. You <laughs> got that short field to work with. And Lancers that time had a really short field to begin with, starting at the 20. But they take it in and put points on the board. So they come back up, and it's going to be Liam Rhodes kicking off for the Lancers again. Despite the rain, Tom, I tell you what, great night for some football. Yeah. It, uh, it's been cold several nights that we <laughs> played, but uh, not too bad tonight. But yeah, you can see the rain big time and the lights across the way. It is pouring rain right now. So Liam Rhodes now set to kick for the Lancers. He kicks a high but short kick. It's going to drop oh. about the 27. It's taken there. Oh, he's again all kinds of pressure by the Lancers almost immediately upon catching the football. Number 24 for the Bees. Mishad Vaughn. And he did not have a chance once he got started with Landon uh, Pelcher for the Bees. He went nowhere once he caught that football. He got dropped right away. All right, so we have a timeout on the field. Tom, it looks like Brookville is going to talk it over. 6.07 to go first quarter, 18-0 Lancers. Back at Lancer Stadium, the Lancer's JV team right now leads this ball game 18 0 with 6.07 to go first quarter. Bees have the football at their own 21 yard line, first down and 10. Hobbs takes a snap, he gives to the running back. Oh, he comes and he gets stuck. Again, Trey Wright there to meet him and stop him in his tracks right there. That's number nine carrying the football for the Bees. Again, Zephaniah Brooks. And he had a little room there for a minute last, but Trey Wright come in and closed that down in a hurry. I tell you what, Trey Wright, he is having a night so far. He really is. He's having a great football game. And he's fired up, too. He's ready to play. Bees come out of the huddle again. Hobbs, Hobbs with running backs in the knife formation behind him. One wide receiver to each side of the field. He takes a snap. He's going to roll to his right, try to find something, but he's under a lot of pressure. Puts oh, it over there. Oh, and oh, was picked off over there by A.J. Jordan. Got both hands on the football, but couldn't snag it. 
I tell you what, Tom, he was in position to get that. He was. It looked like the receiver had a step, but, but A.J. just closed down the distance in a hurry and looked like he was the receiver at the end of it. Got both hands on the football. He did. But Hobbs was under a lot of pressure. Luke Short was right there chasing him down from behind, so he had to get rid of the football. See, A.J., he got rid of his gloves there. Might be a little slip. Yeah. Hobbs again has two wide receivers to his right. Two running backs in the backfield, eye formation. Takes a snap, pitch, goes to. And Lances are yes, there again yes. for the stop. Zephaniah Brooks again with the carry, but he's going to be dropped in his backfield, going to lose about four or five yards on the play. And that's going to bring up fourth down on about 12 yards now for the Bees, just inside their own 20 yard line. Let's see what they're going to do this time. The punt last time didn't work so well for them. Snapped way over the punter's head. But let's see what happens here. Looks like the bees are going to maximize protection here, Tom. Yeah. Hobbs, again, looks like he's their punter as well as their quarterback. So he takes the snap, and he does get this punt off. Going to take a bees bounce and get out to about the 44-yard line. So it'll be first down. They're actually going to spot it about the 43. So first down and 10 for the Lancers. Again in B territory at the 43-yard line. Short field for the Lancers once again. They haven't started a drive yet in their own territory. Lately. They have not tonight, Tom. Uh, seems like they, they cannot get it going. But let's see what they do on this drive here. Right, let's see who's in a quarterback for the Lancers. He won't turn so that I can see a number. Let's see. <laughs> it's Belcher. Belcher throws a quick out. It's going to be completed out here to number 22 for the Lancers. David Travis, Tom. David Travis carries the ball down to about the 20 or 33 yard line, maybe 34. He's going to be a pickup of about nine. Be about a yard shy of the first down. So Lancers still moving the football well. Second down and one now from the B's 34-yard line for the Lancers. Once again, Belcher in that quarterback. Yep. Right. Wicker with the carry, and that's the same play he scored his touchdown on. This time, nice carry. Carries it just inside the 30-yard line of the Bees. Lancer first down, so the Lancer's going to set up now about the 29-yard line, first and 10. we got 3.35 to go first quarter. Lancer's leading 18 to nothing. Belcher looking things over. Two backs in the backfield with him. Takes a snap. Fakes to Stewart. Rolls to his right. Throws it downfield. He's got a oh. receiver just overthrew him. A.J. Jordan was out there, and he was open, but the pass just a little bit over his head. Tell you what, Belcher's got an arm. He let that go on the roll and do it about 40 yards on the roll that time. But he does, Tom. And I think if A.J. would have... Continue running there. He definitely would have took that into the end zone. Because he was definitely open. So Belcher again behind center. Takes oh. the snap. He fumbles the snap. Let's see who's got it. I think the Lancers must have it from the way everybody's reacting. They do, but they're not going to gain anything. It's going to be third down now. And about 10. And they've made a change of quarterback now. Hurt is back in for the Lancers. Hurt with Luke Short in the backfield with him, along with Jamarius Stewart. Now oh, he fumbles almost a snap. Almost snaps as well. So it's fourth down now and about 11. As we said, folks, it is raining out here, so uh, that could be one of the problems we face throughout the night as well. Yeah, this was an issue the other night for the Lancers. Struggled with the exchange from center to quarterback. Fourth and 11, Lancers at the 31-yard line, and they're going to go for it here on fourth down. Let's 
Burt takes a snap, fakes, goes the other way to Stewart. Stewart goes to his right, cuts it up the middle. He's sweeping in between players, and he's going to get close, but not quite going to get there. Lancers going to turn the ball over on down. B's defense steps up and holds the Lancers. They're going to take over at their own 23-yard line. So it's first down and 10 now after the turnover on down. It's actually going to move it closer to 24. So it's going to be first and 10 from the B's 24-yard line as they stop the Lancers on that drive. One minute, 56 seconds remaining first quarter. It's 18-0 Lancers. And Bees with the football. Hobbs comes in at quarterback. Two running backs behind him in an eye formation. One wide receiver to each side. <laughs> now you got a res one of the running backs moving, but handoff in the backfield, and there is nowhere to go. Once again, Tom, the Lancers are swarming to the ball. Nowhere to run that time. The running back number 23 for the Bees, that is Lincoln Hunley, and he had nowhere to go. He's just dropped in his backfield. Looks so, like Markel Haynes led the charge for the Lancers, Tom. Yeah, so a great stop by Haynes and had some help from his friends. And It's second down now on 11 from the 28. Or 23, rather, check that. He's running the same formation pretty much every play, this time this time from the shotgun, actually in the pistol this time. And so the snap comes out. Quarterback going to keep himself as Hobbs. Hobbs runs right, looking for some place to go. Cuts it back to his left. And nice gain for the Bees. Hobbs made a nice run that time. Wanted to go right, had to cut back left, finally dropped there, but he picks up about six yards, seven yards on the play, so it's going to be third down and two for the Bees. Tom, looks like you stopped by the duo, Trey Wright and A.J. Jordan again, calling their names all night. Yeah, Trey Wright is, man, he's piled up some tackles already. We're just in the first quarter, although the first quarter is about to come to an end. 30 seconds to go, first quarter. Bees have a third down and a... Long one, short two, however you want to call it. Hobbs behind center. Takes a snap, gives to the second back through, and not sure if he got it or not. Trey Wright again on the stop, along with number Marco 66. Haynes. Marco yeah, Haynes. Those two really been active. And let's see where they spot this, because it's close. But not sure he's got it. Uh, he's short. Fourth, yeah, fourth and one. And one. Let's see what the bees will do. I'm looking and I'm trying to see. They got it marked right at the 33 yard line. So it's a full yard and a little more on fourth down. The bees going. So let's see. Hobbs takes a snap, gives to the second back, and it's going nowhere. He's going to get dropped in his backfield. Is number 12 for the Bees. That's Luke, Luke Frett. He didn't even make it back to the line of scrimmage. And so the Bees going to lose a yard there to give the ball over on downs to the Lancers. 3.3 seconds to go in the first quarter. Lancers take over the football at the Bees' 33-yard line. Let's see who's in at quarterback here. It's Belcher this time. It's the Lancer quarterback. Tyreek Belcher behind center. Takes a snap, fakes, carries it himself to his right, and he's going to be dropped after about a yard gain. Not much running room out of there. And that's going to end the first quarter. At the end of one quarter play, the Lancers 18 and Brookville B's nothing.
Welcome back once again to Lancer Stadium. Lancers at the end of one quarter lead this football game 18 to nothing over the Brookville Bees. Lancers had the ball. It's second down now. And let's see. Something's not right here, Last yeah. Chains are wrong. That's what it is. I was going, something, because the way they had the chains, it would have been first and ten. They got the marker. Second down and ten. Had the marker to uh, the the chains at the wrong side. Yeah, they absolutely got to get that right. Yeah. <laughs> so second down for the Lancers. Ten to go. They're at the 33-yard line of the Bees. They've been in B territory all night. And the snap. To Belcher, he gives it to Wicker. Wicker goes right, finds a hole. He's going to carry it down to about the 23-yard line, and maybe a first down. Going to be awfully close. Yeah, they're going to say first down. And as this game progresses, Tom, the rain is steadily pouring down. Yes, it is. <laughs> Looking in the lights across the way, I'm glad I'm up here. The Belcher goes in motion last, and they've run this play several times, and, and he just finds his hole once he gets the football and just takes it up in there. First and 10 for the Lancers at the B 23-yard line. Belcher behind center. Takes a snap, puts it up. And it's a floater. And it is by caught. Trey Wright. Trey going to drag tacklers, and ball comes out. Let's see here. And the B is going to get it at the right. touchback at the – in the end zone, so they're going to move it to the 20 to be B football. Trey Wright did a good job making the catch, but then dragging tacklers with him, and finally one came in, knocked the ball loose, rolled into the Lancer end zone, and the Bees fall on it. So they'll take over. First and 10 at the 20-yard line. So a nice pass, pass play that got them down close, but ended up costing them the possession. Yeah, once again, Tom, I uh, believe that rain is playing a factor. Let's see how it does throughout the night. Yep. Let's see. So Bees Hobbs finally checking back in off the sideline. Hobbs now out of the shotgun. Got three receivers to his left. One single running back in the backfield with him. Hobbs keeps looking over the B silo. Now you got one of the receivers moves right, takes a snap trying to go the other direction. And he's going to be dropped, but a nice gain that time, about five yard pickup. Let's see, who was that carrying the ball? Could you see the number? I could not, Tom. <laughs> Oh, it's number two was who that was. That's Aldridge. Tyreek Aldridge. And again, it picks up about five yards on the play. And he's brought down about to 26. So let's see. Again, Hobbs in the shotgun. There's two receivers to his right and one to the left. One single setback in the backfield with him. The receiver goes in motion. Hobbs going to keep it himself, and he's going to get a nice game for the Bees out. Still going, the ball moving. Finally, they bring him down out around the 38, 39-yard line. But a nice game that time and a B first down. Hobbs keeps it himself and makes a nice pickup for the Bees. I think the Bees have finally settled down, Tom, and they're yeah. finding their niche here. Yeah, I think you're right, Laz. I think they're finally finding some place to go with the football. Uh, starting to move it a little bit now. First down for the Bees out at their own 38-yard line. Eight minutes to go here in the second quarter. Bees trail the Lancers 18-0. They got trips out here to the right. And now a man on a little flare. Quarterback overthrows his intended receiver. That's number nine out here, Zephaniah Brooks. The ball just overthrown. Going to fall incomplete. Second down and 10 to go for the Bees. 
Vance's defense has just been tremendous all year. They've just really shut people down. So far, they've been able to hold the bees in check, but the bees starting to get a little momentum. Hobbs comes out again. Three wide receivers to his right. Single setback in the backfield with him. Hobbs in the shotgun. Gets set, takes a snap. He's going to roll right, look things over, and he's got company in the backfield. He overthrows the receiver. But he was under a lot of pressure. He was, Tom. Yeah, pass intended out there for number 21, Nathan, Nathaniel Gardner, but it was overthrown. All kinds of pressure with that time last. It was. I, was. I believe that was Caleb Ramsey with the pressure. So that's going to bring up third down and 10. These out at the 38-yard line. They're on 38. Trying to keep a little momentum going offensively here. 7.44 to go, second quarter. Hobbs comes out again. Three wide receivers right. Single set back in the backfield with Hobbs. Hobbs in the shotgun takes a snap. He's going to drop straight back, hit the receiver who was in the back in the backfield with him, and he's going to be dropped out at about the 44-yard line. It's going to bring up fourth down and four now for the Bees. And this is going to be an interesting decision. You finally got a little momentum. You've got it out near midfield, but it's a fourth down and four. You take the chance, giving the Lancers a short field again, or do you try to play field position and punt it away here? Well, with the game, with the way things are going so far, Tom, I think I would go for it. Yeah, we'll try to get see. some points on the board here. Yeah. So the bees come out. Two wide receivers right, one to the left. Single setback in the backfield with the quarterback. And Lancers jump off sides and give them the first down. It's hard snap count. Drew the Lancers off. That was number 76, Trey Houskins, with the offsides. Yeah, so that's going to give the Bees a first down out at the Lancer 49, or the Bees 49 yard line. It's like the Bees' offense may take it into Lance, Lancer territory for the first time tonight. They're threatening to anyway. They've got a little momentum offensively. You mentioned it, and I think you're right. They're starting to move the football a little bit this time. They do, Tom. Let's see what they do on this play here. Again, in the shotgun, two wide receivers to his right, one to the left. Single setback in the backfield. Now one of the receivers moves to the backfield, takes the pitch. That is number 21 for the Bees, who is... Nathaniel Gardner, he's dropped after about a three-yard gain. Tried to sweep it left. And Lancer defense was out there to make the stop quickly. So the bees are in Lancer territory now for the first time tonight. Actually going to pick up about two with the spot. So going to be second down and eight yards to go from the 48 or 49 of the Lancers. Six minutes, 18 seconds to go. Second quarter, Lancers lead 18-0. Hobbs, his trips to his right. Now his running back rolls to the right. And he keeps Hobbs it. takes a snap himself. He's going to be close, awfully close to another first down. Let's see where they spot it. Yeah, he's looks like he's right there, Tom. Let's see. That's really close. It looks like he's just inches shy. Let's see. And I think Hobbs is down. Looks like he landed on the football. So let's see. Yeah, he's down. The trainer's yeah. going to come out and look at him. Let's hope he's all right, Tom. Yeah. So, <laughs> Bees finally have a little momentum going on this drive. Not really sure. They, they must be seeing something that they've been able to take advantage of. But let's see what they're going to do. I thought when, when he landed, it looked like he landed on the football and then had people come down on top of him as well. 
That's what I saw as well. With the injury, we're going to take a 30-second timeout and come right back with Lancer football. ACPS students, never before have we had to rethink education quite like this. But we know that learning doesn't stop just because we're not in the classroom anymore. You are still exploring, creating, and honing your skills in new and different ways. We want to see the learning paths you are taking and what you are discovering on this journey. Having this extra time without distractions may be the perfect opportunity to fall in love with reading again or finally pick up that guitar and learn to play. Did you know that some of the greats, like Isaac Newton and Shakespeare, have isolation to thank for their work? It was a pandemic that caused calculus to be discovered and brilliant literature to be written. It brings us hope during these trying days to know that your mind is still broken. And welcome back again at Lancer Stadium. The Brookville Bees had the football and they're starting to move it and get the drive going. New quarterback in the ball game for the Bees after the injury to their starter, Hobbs, and it carried himself. That's number nine, Zephaniah Brooks. Brooks has been in the game at running back, but now he moves to quarterback and he carries it down to the Lancer 39 and gets the first down for the bees. That's going to bring up, where is he spotting the ball? Now they move it. Wow. So they move it to the 40. The first and 10 for the bees at the Lancer 40 yard line. Bees starting to put a drive together and kind of threaten the Lancer defense. Five minutes, 19 seconds to go here in the second quarter. And Brooks takes a snap. Uh, let's see, looks like there's some movement. Looks like it. it's on the bees, Tom. Yeah. You know, a lot of times you have a new quarterback come in, the cadence is a little different. And guys jump a little bit. Five minutes to go here, second quarter. He's again moving the football, but backed up five yards after they jumped that time. First and 15 from the 45. Zephaniah Brooks has moved to quarterback after the injury uh, to Dylan Hobbs. Brooks is in the shotgun, has two receivers to his right, one to the left. Takes a snap, he's gonna take it himself. And he's going to run it out to about the 40, get the penalty yardage back and put him at a third down, now or second down rather, and 10 from the 40-yard line. And so they're almost running a wildcat type offense here, last with their quarterback out and their running back moving to quarterback. He's carried the ball a couple of times as he's gotten the snaps. Yes, Tom, and let's see if that continues to be a trend for tonight with the injury to Hobbs. Second down, 10. Brooks has three wide receivers to his right, one set back in the backfield with him. He's going to take the snap. Look, he looks to throw. Oh. And nice read on that pass out there by the Lancers. This is 25, Dakota Haynes. He read that one well and was out there. I couldn't tell if he got his hand on the ball or not. It, it was very close, Tom. Looked yeah. like he was about to pick it off. Yeah. He had a beat on it, saw what was happening. He was going to throw it quick out to his right. And just not able to get it out there. So third down now and 10 from the Lancer 40 yard line for the Bees. Brooks in the shotgun again, three wide receivers right. One single setback in the backfield. He takes a snap and he's he's looking right now, turns to throw left. The receiver's out there, ball hits him, but again, looked like it slipped through his hands, drops incomplete. 
once again, Tom Lance is uh, right there to meet him. At yeah, the ball. It, it didn't look like it was going anywhere, but it should have been called. I mean, pass was open and receiver should have had the football. But anyway, it's fourth down now for the Bees. They got to make a decision here. Do you go for it, or, and I'm sure they will at the 40 yard line. The 3:34 left, Tom. I, I think they are. Yeah. Second quarter. Trips right. Single setback, and Brooks rolls out. He's looking to oh. hit. Ball comes loose. Let's see who got it. Brooks got clobbered from behind, and that was Jamarius uh, Stewart that got in there with the sack. And Brooks never saw that coming. He never heard the footsteps. He did not, Tom, as he was getting ready to unload. Stewart came right from the back end and laid him out. Yeah, you said he's ready to unload. He got unloaded. He got hit hard. Football came loose. So Lancers take over on downs. They're starting again. Great field position at their own 45-yard line. Three minutes, 28 seconds to go in the second quarter. 18-0 Lancers. They're looking to add to that lead. Hurt hands off. And let's see, that's number 24 for the Lancers. Michaud Vaughn stumbling down the sideline. Yeah, Michaud Vaughn carries it all the way inside the B's 20. So a nice gain there on first down. Actually going to spot it right at the 20. So a pickup of 35 yards on the first play for Vaughn. It was a nice strong run, Tom. Yes, he, was. he was able to break some tackles. It was, but he had good, good, a good hole to run in initially as well. So Hurt behind center now. Takes a snap. Hands to Vaughn again. Vaughn got all kinds of daylight. In Jumps over a tackle and takes it into the end zone for a Lancer touchdown. Nice job that time. They sealed the corner for Vaughn. Vaughn had all kinds of green to run in. And he just took it out there. No one even there to meet him until he got to about the two. And he just leaped over that tackler and took it on into the end zone. I tell you what, Tom, that, again, that left side of the line is really blocking the night. They really are. So 24 nothing Lancers. They're going to go for two again. Hurt still in at quarterback. Hurt looks things over, takes a snap. Hands again, and that's easy. That's Vaughn again, and, and there was nobody over there. He took that in very easily for the two-point conversion. So with that, the Lancers now increase their lead. It's 26-0 with 2.49 to go second quarter. Unless, again, they run left, and there is all kinds of daylight and green, green grass out front. It was, Tom, wide open, and... For the Bees to be able to get back into this, you, you think they're going to have to open up the passing game? They're, they're going to have to find something. Although they, they were getting a little momentum and moving the football last drive, um, but but this Lancer JV football team looks good. I mean, they're, they're moving the ball offensively, and for the most part, they've done a good job defensively. 26 0, 249 to go in the second quarter. So Liam Rhodes comes back out on the field. And he's gonna be kicking off for the Lancers. Well, let's see. Taking a long time to get set here. They are. Tom, look like the rain has let up a little bit here. That's nice. I uh, needed another man on the field. So here we go. Rose set now to kick off. Kick goes to about the 26 yard line. And, oh, fumble. Fumble. and there's a pile of us. And they're going for the football. Looks like Lance is sure did have a good shot at getting it. But let's see who comes up with it. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like Lance of football. Wow, Lancers got the got a nice break there. So first and ten for the Lancers at the 36-yard line of the Bees. 
let's see who they're going to bring out a quarterback on this drive. Tom, with the success of the running game and the left side of the line blocking, you would think they would run the ball again. Yeah, yeah, I mean, ain't broke, don't fix it, right? That's right. And they are doing, <laughs> they're doing a great job on the ground. Let's see, that's Belcher. It looks like any quarterback. Tyreek Belcher for the Lancers. And let's see, he comes up, takes a snap. There's that play where the slot back comes in motion. And nice piece of running that time. He was all over the place. That's Jordan Whitelow. He's fun to watch. He is quick and, and just all kinds of quick moves. But come in motion, took his hand off, and he's going to pick up about nine yards on the play. I tell you what, Tom, not only that, he looked like he was able to have a couple of defenders miss as well. Yes, he was. And, and I tell you what, Laz, he is quick. I, last game, he, he scored a touchdown or two um, and just looked good running the football really quick. Stops on the dime, runs it. I mean, nice, nice job of running back. So, Belts are going to come up to quarterback to kill. It's Luke Short behind him in the backfield. Gives to Short. Short going to carry it right up the middle. And he's going to pick up the first down for the Lancers. Going to be first and 10 at about the 25-yard line of the Bees. Lancers lead 26-0. Lancers going to take a timeout. They lead 26-0, 145 to go here in the first half. Hello, I'm Rob Arnold, Superintendent of Amherst County Public Schools, and I would like to express a heartfelt thank you to all the dedicated, caring, selfless people from Amherst County Public Schools, and to the many essential service providers who have given so much to take care of the students, families, and community members of Amherst County. We are grateful for all that you do each and every day. Welcome back once again to Lancer Stadium. We have one minute, 45 seconds to go here in the first half. Lancers lead this ball game 26 to nothing over the Brookville Bees. And the Lancers look as good as the score sounds. They really are moving the football. The defense is playing well. Tyreek Belcher in at quarterback for the Lancers. He's looking at his receiver to his right. Now under center, takes a snap, fakes the handoff, rolls right. He's going to pull it down himself. He's going to run, mm. and he's still dragging tackles and takes it all the way down to about the seven-yard line. I can't tell if it was a design rollout to run or if he had the option to run. I believe it was looking, the option, Tom. Yeah, man. looking to pass. I'll tell you what, these lances are determined tonight. Yep, but again, going to the left, and there was all kinds of daylight out there. First and goal, Lancers at the seven-yard line. Belcher takes it, rolls left again. This time he is going to throw, and just over the outstretched hand of Trey Wright. Coverage was good out there for the Bees that time. Wright was going to try to go up and make a great catch, but good coverage. Belcher put the ball where either Wright was getting it or nobody was. So second and, second and goal for the Lancers. The ball is spotted at the six-yard line. And Hurt's in now, quarterback. So Hurt takes a snap. Oh. Runs off and fumble. Lancers fall on the football. It's <coughs> David Travis falls on it in his own backfield. And let's see, Lancers take another timeout. One minute. Seven seconds to go in the first half. Lancers lead 26 nothing. And threatening to put more on the board. Third down now, goal at the nine. Lancers talking things over, trying to decide what they're going to do here. It's going to be interesting to see who's going to come out of quarterback here. Belcher's, Belcher was having a pretty good series. Took him right down the field. Made a nice run. And 
Yeah, looks like they're going to stay with her. Quarterback. So the answers come out. Two running backs in the backfield behind Hurt. Hurt has Trey Wright out to his left. Handoff. And that's just Jamarius Stewart. Stewart bobs and weaves, and let's see. Yes, he's in. Touchdown, Lancers. Fell right on the goal line. He had to weave in between players, and finally they were able to drag him down, but he falls into the end zone for another Lancer touchdown. And guess what, Tom? Once again, to that left side. Yep, to the left. Lancer's going to go for two again. Hurt in at quarterback. He has Wicker in the backfield with him along with Luke Short. And he takes a snap. It's Wicker with the football. He cuts it up, finds a hole, takes it into the end zone. And just like that, the Lancers increase their lead. And Lancers are playing well. It's 34-0 Lancers with 59 seconds to go here in the first half. I tell you what, the Lancers have a lot of quickness, a lot of speed in that backfield. Wicker that time, it looked like it was probably designed to go wide. But he saw a hole open up in front of him, and he just turned it up and took it right to the end zone for the two-point conversion. Tom, the, the Lancers are hitting on all cylinders tonight. Yeah, they are playing well. And so now they come back up the field. I guess Liam Rhodes will kick off. He's been a busy man tonight. He has. He's had to kick quite a bit. <laughs> Let's see. Actually, he's still over here on the sideline. Well, now finally he walks out with the T in his hand. It looks like he handed it off to somebody. Maybe he's not kicking this time. I believe you're correct, huh? Let's see who'll be doing. Ah, it looks like they go to. Let's see, that's number. Number 20. <laughs> Last time it was Jonathan Stone Lake, but let's see who it is. Not sure who this is. We don't have him on our roster, but kick short again, taking about the 28 out there by Brooks for the bees. Brooks is going to get down to about the 34, and that's where it ends. There's nowhere to run out there. Yeah, it looks like Brooks ran into his own player there, Tom. Yeah, yeah, had a little momentum. Own guy got in his way, and then it, he never could get anything back. So first and 10 out at the 33-yard line for the Bees, their own 33. 48 seconds to go in the first half. Let's see. Looks like Brooks still going to be at quarterback. This time under center. And then the handoff up the middle, and it goes nowhere. Nowhere at all. As Brooks handed off, couldn't see who that was. That number was Jamarius Stewart, Tom, on the tackle there. Okay, number 12 for the Bees carried the football that time, Luke Frett, and he got dropped in his tracks, lost, lost two yards. Second down and 12 for the Bees. 24 seconds to go here in the first half. Let's see if they'll run another play. Brooks under center again, not out of the shotgun anymore. Eye formation behind him, one wide receiver to each side. Takes a snap, gives, and again, that's number 12 for the Bees, Luke Frett. He carries it in for about four. That's going to do it for the first half. The end of the first half, it's, it's all Lancers right now. Lancers lead 34 to nothing over the Brookville Bees at halftime. CTE is associated with reduced rates of dropout and higher rates of on-time graduation, particularly CTE courses taken in the 11th and 12th grades. 
Employers overwhelmingly say that the most valuable employee skills are soft and employability skills, such as professionalism, teamwork, and written and oral communication. The blend of technical, academic, and employability skills that CTE programs provide best prepare students for fast-growing and high-earning jobs. CTE students and their parents are three times more likely to report being very satisfied with the real-world learning component of their education than non-CTE students and parents. Advanced CTE course taking in high school is associated with higher wages. Workers see a 2% wage increase from each upper level CTE course that is taken. Occupations in skilled trades, sales and marketing, driving and logistics, construction, customer support and healthcare are some of the top jobs employers are having trouble filling in the United States. The skills gap may leave an estimated 2.4 million manufacturing jobs unfilled between 2018 and 2028, while many of the almost 17.2 million workers employed in infrastructure jobs are nearing retirement. Many of the 30 million good paying jobs available without a bachelor's degree are found in skilled trades, healthcare, and hospitality.
We are Amherst County, Virginia. Nestled in the heart of Virginia, Amherst County is defined by its rural countryside, rich tradition, and quality of life reminiscent of days gone by. While other communities move at a frantic pace and have lost their sense of place, Amherst County has preserved its pristine landscape, fertile farmland, and picturesque views. Our scenic beauty is second to none, and it draws people here to learn, be inspired, create, and enjoy a peaceful lifestyle. Amherst truly has something for everyone, from a premier institute of higher learning in Sweetbriar to a nationally recognized artist community to an energized creative culture led by Second Stage. Our agricultural heritage is alive and well in our wineries and orchards. We also have a rich history defined by tobacco plantations, grist mills, and bateaus along the James. And we can't forget the tales of the Revolution, the Civil War, and the bright and vibrant traditions of the Monacan Nation. That history is best experienced within our rolling hills and along our country roads. Perhaps our best offering is the great outdoors. In Amherst County, you're never more than five minutes from the pastoral beauty of the countryside or the seclusion of unspoiled natural wonders. We own the James River and provide outdoor adventures that can't be overlooked. You can launch your boat at River Edge Park, catch prize catfish in our beautiful freshwater lakes, play golf at award-winning courses, hike the Appalachian Trail, or simply enjoy a peaceful drive along the parkway. Along the way, you can step back in time at Amherst Milling Company or have a taste of wine at one of our fine vineyards. From the majestic James to the mighty Blue Ridge, Amherst County is a welcome escape. Global products are made right here, from finely crafted German grandfather clocks to high-end precision archery components used by the world record holders and gold medalists. This niche industry grew out of the huntsman culture in Amherst as well as the pioneering spirit of our citizens. That entrepreneurial ingenuity can also be seen in our unique small businesses. From custom-made pies to locally made beer, locals and visitors can get everything they need. If you're focused on achieving an amazing blend of quality of life and professional success, Amherst County has built an environment that offers mountains of opportunity. Our greatest asset is our people, neighbors who greet you with a wave and a smile, and that welcoming spirit that assures you'll never meet a stranger. Our natural resources shape our natural traditions, and together they offer a place where you can breathe, where the weight of the world lifts away. Amherst County is both active and passive, wild and cultured, secluded, yet connected. And we have all the things our great state has to offer, right in the place we call home. We are Amherst, a perfect slice of Virginia.
Welcome back here as we are set to start the second half of this JV football game between the Amherst Lancers and Brookville Bees. And last first half was a story of how well the Lancers played, both offensively and defensively. Yeah, Tom, it, it seems to be it's been a tale of dominance. And, you know, the Lancers, they have not missed the beat tonight. Yeah, and, and you said the left side in particular, and that's and that's where they keep going. They keep going back to that left side, and they're just pounding and running the football and looking good doing it. So we're set to start the second half here, and out to kick, I believe that that's Jonathan Stone Lake. He's listed as number 27. This is 26, but I don't see a 27 on the bench anywhere. I think he switched jerseys on us. He kicked last game. And so he's set to kick, kicks it off, and Lance is going to be offsides on the kickoff. Just got an early start. He's the guy closest to the football that, that got a little bit ahead of the kicker that time. And going to be offsides. And also, Tom, it looks like the rain has subsided, so let's see yeah. if that could work in the B's favor for them. Yeah, because they, they like to throw the football, so it could help them that the rain has stopped. And I see what there's a hold up here. Officials talking. Let's see. Now they're going to move it back. So instead of kicking off from the 40, the Lancer's going to be kicking off from the 35. And again, who I believe to be Jonathan Stone Lake is set to kick. I'm a big He's over half the the Let's see. He's hoping to get some momentum early. They almost need to get some points on the board on this first drive. Kick is taken deep there by the Bees at about the 28-yard line. That's Brooks. <laughs> Zephaniah Brooks carries it out in a nice return for the Bees out to about the 44. So the Bees going to start out with great field position. Going to start from their own, actually going to mark it at the 43. So starting at their own 43-yard line, he's going to start this drive. Yep. And, and again, I think it's important for the bees to put some points on the board early. That last play time looks like Brooks was stopped by Whitelaw there. So Brooks going to stay in at quarterback, and I hope that that's nothing bad for Hobbs. Hobbs went out uh, the starting quarterback for the bees, but he got hurt in the second quarter, hadn't been back. Brooks now under center. Takes a snap, gives to the second back through. And nice game that time. That's number 12, Luke Frett. And he, he able to find some running room there in the middle of the line. Going to pick up about six or seven on the carry. He said, Tom, we hope uh, quarterback, he's okay. And uh, you know, hopefully he'll be able to join the game shortly. We'll see what happens. So Brooks now under center, got his backs in an eye formation behind him. Takes a snap and again to Fretz. Looks like the same play, the other side of the center. He fumbles, oh. it's scooped. And let's see the Lancers have the football. They're going the other direction. Got blockers out front. And there's some space. He's going to take it to the end zone for a Lancer touchdown. That's number 12 or 25 for the Lancers, Dakota Haynes. And he gets the scoop and the score. Bees had the momentum going, and then at that time it looked like Pratt just got hit from behind. Maybe a wet football, I don't know, but it came loose. And very quickly there was Dakota Haynes to scoop it and take it for a Lancer touchdown to increase their lead. It's now 40 nothing Lancers. It looks like they're going to go for two again. And Hurt's going to check in at quarterback. Let's see. Yep, hurt in at quarterback. Takes a snap and he gives, it looks like to Jamarius Stewart. Stewart finds a slow space in the middle. He easily takes it in for the two point conversion. It's 42 nothing Lancers.
had a little resistance there, but able to go through an arm tackle and just take it into the end zone. But again, the line doing a good job of clearing some space to run. And Stewart just took it right to the hole. That's right, Tom. They, they've been doing it all night. He was determined to get in. Lancers, 42 to nothing over the Bees with 8.55 to go third quarter. You know, again, it, it was important for the Bees, I believe, to, to have actually cashed in and put some points on the board. And it looked like they had some momentum to, and going to be able to do something and then just caught the football up. Yeah, Tom, that's kind of been the story all night. So, I think again that this is Stonehill, or Stone Lake rather, ready to kick off. Jonathan Stone Lake. And he comes up, puts a foot on the football line drive, taking it about the 19. And let's see, that's Brooks. Brooks trying to go to his right. There's just nowhere to go. He's dropped out about the 26, 27 yard line. Once again, Tom, he's met by a convoy of Lancers. Yes, he is. So, very quick coverage down there that time. He took it about the 19, only gets out to about the 27. Where it'll be first and 10 for the Bees at their own 27-yard line. Now, here's where we're 35-point lead. You run the clock. It doesn't stop. So, this second half could be a quick one unless the bees are able to put some points on the board. I agree, Tom. They got to get that passing game going. Brooks under center again. Two backs behind him in the high formation. Two wide receivers to his right. Handoff goes, and it's going nowhere. Jamarius Stewart out there. Uh, who else is that out there? Let's see, number 62, 63. And it's Caleb Ramsey. They're in a hurry to make the stop for the Lancers. A loss of about two on the play. Second down 12 for the Bees at their own 25-yard line. Bees still trying to find something to get them going now. One wide receiver to each side. Brooks under center. Two running backs in an eye formation behind him. Takes a snap, second back gets the football, and he is stuck. Ball comes out. Lancers recover, and he got drilled that time. Who was that in to make the stop for the Lancers? Once again, Tom, it was Jamarius Stewart. He just dropped him right in his tracks. That was a hit. Right it was. There. It was. I, I was not surprised to see that football come out after that hit. So, first down for the Lancers as they take over after the fumble. They're at the 22-yard line of the Bees, threatening to score already. 42 nothing your score. Seven minutes, 14 seconds to go here in the third quarter. This time it's Belcher under center. He's got two backs in the backfield behind him. They're going to have to burn a timeout. Some confusion on what the play call was. So you come in after the turnover, and again, you're not expecting that turnover to be so quick. Your offense has just come off the field. Nobody's kind of grouped or anything yet, and now you're running them out to run a play, and it looks like just some confusion there. they got to call a timeout and figure things out. They don't want to blow this. They're starting at the 22-yard line, so want to add to their lead. But this football team looks like they are somebody to deal with last. They are, Tom, and... I'm, I'm pretty sure Coach is going to get them uh, situated here. Let's see what happens. Belcher comes in at quarterback. And he's going to have, let's see, who's he got behind him? Looks like number 15, Xavier Elliott, along with number 31, Luke Short. He's got Trey Wright wide to the right, or wide right to the left, rather. Handoff goes to... Elliott. Xavier Elliott, he's spinning off tackles. All right. Fights his way ahead to about the 17-yard line. 
So a nice gain of about five or six yards on that play. Elliott hit a couple of tackles, spun right off of them, just did. kept getting it down the field. He did, Tom. Belcher this time gives to Michaud Vaughn. Vaughn with the ball, and he's going to take it into the end zone for another Lancer touchdown. Again to the left. Again, all kinds of running room. And Vaughn able to slide through a couple of arm tackles and take it 